That old witch won't be seen here for a long time. Ah, ah. Now, how to get out of this dreadful forest? All right, so let's go loot the witch's house. I feel kind of guilty, but it'll pass. Um, I just saw something glint in this lantern up here. What's this? Why, it's a little key. It's a little key. All right, and what? there's a drawer here. A small leather pouch is tucked away in the drawer. I'll take the pouch. Graham reaches the drawer and removes the leather pouch. God, if this weren't for this narrator and exposition, I wouldn't know what's going on. A small, on. intricate spinning wheel is put away in the trunk. What? Yes. All right. Reaching a hand it. into the trunk. I, I, I think he's going to say I take the spinning wheel out of the trunk. Bet you a million bucks. Okay, so I have... Uh, a pouch. The small anything, leather pouch is uh, drawn tightly closed. Well, let's undraw that. Upon opening the oh. leather pouch, Graham discovers three sparkling emeralds. Two done. Yoink! All right. I know. Man, this um. All right. So this forest has pretty much been the most interesting place in the game so far. I've met a witch. I've been turned into a frog. I killed a witch, and I found some uh, found some fat loots. Epic emeralds. All right, so let's see if this door will open now that the witch is gone. My guess is no. Graham tugs firmly on the... Oh, wait. Nerhurk, I have a key. Graham finds that the little key fits perfectly in this lock. Graham is charmed to find a little golden heart inside the door of the twisted Charmed? old tree. To find a... a I would be fucking horrified to find a heart in a tree. Well, it is golden, and it's... Reaching uh, into the little door of the tree, Graham extracts the little golden heart. Ugh, that was morbid. Okay, well, let's, uh, I guess we're done. Let's roll. All right, so now we head to, uh... Wait a sec. Wrong way. So, so now we give the heart back to, wait a minute, something's wrong here. Wasn't the exit around here somewhere? What the fuck is going on? I'm confused. The egg. I'm going to cry. All right, so am I am I lost in this fucking forest forever? How do I get out? Um, sh shit. Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, I guess I don't think this amulet will do anything. No. Um, what's the spinning wheel do? Nothing. Heart. Nothing. Uh, Crispin, where are you, dude? Warp me the fuck out of here. Unfortunately, Graham is all thumbs when it comes to operating a spinning wheel. Uh, all right, so I'm basically just going to try everything to see if something gets me out of this fucking forest. Graham gives the wand a good sh No. Well, the, the witch got out. There must be a different The leather way. pouch contains three beautiful emeralds. The trio of sparkling emeralds dazzle the eyes. All right, I'm not getting any hints at all here. Um... All right, thinking, thinking. Look, the witch got out of here, so there must be a way for me to get out, too. Let me go uh, loot her house again. Maybe there's, like, some trap door or some other way out. Um, but I'm thinking no. Um, no. Can't get out her windows. Son of a bitch. Okay, uh... Strange plants and animals inhabit this dark and dreary place, while thin rays of sunlight barely break the surface of the forest's thick foliage. First, uh, thick foliage. You a large, rock-like creature guy. blocks further passage what? to the west. Rock-like creature? I didn't even notice that before. Can I? Let me save before I mess with it. It might crush me in some horrifying fashion. All right, I can't move it. Can I talk to it? No. Do I have anything at once? What the, what the fuck does a rock monster want? Because um, I bet you it moves and I can escape, but all right, it doesn't want my money. 
Um, I can't give it the golden heart because I need that. Here, have a have a pie. Rock monkeys love pie. No. Um, I'm literally just trying everything. It's not going to want a spinning wheel. Is my funny of use for this beeswax? No. Graham squeezes huh? the honeycomb as hard as he can, which causes the honey to drip out of it onto the ground, creating a sticky little puddle what? at his feet. Now all that's left of the honeycomb is a piece of beeswax, Wait a minute. which Graham puts back what in his pocket. What just happened? I accidentally, literally, I was I clicked the, the beehive thing on the rock, and I, I screwed it up, and then I clicked on the ground by accident, and then I spilled it on... Why? What's the point of that? A sticky puddle of honey lies on the ground. A sticky chuck of honeycomb. Um, I am completely stuck. Walk through. Help me out. What? How would you know to do this? How would... And... and why? Please! Let's uh, go! <laughs> I beg of you! you why should I do you. that? What will you do for me? It's your own fault, I'll dude. You should know I was obviously head. baiting if you. you let me go. How do I know I can trust I don't know. Should I give it up? I mean, I've always I wanted like a little leprechaun. Word. An elf never breaks his word. Your word's no good. Well, Get in my pocket. It's against my better judgment, but... Okay. No! Do not Move let the elf over, go. Rocky. You're in our Rocky. way. Well, I guess I should admit this mm, is more like a... Sorry. Oh. This game is just full of bad voice acting choices, and it, it makes my soul hurt. Follow me! In here! Okay. I have no choice. But to follow the elf. I never thought Warning. I'd say that. This cartoon contains material that may hey, be necessary for information. Hey, more exposition. All right, what you got? Okay, uh, crawling through prehistoric tunnels. Look at this. This is a little jaunty place. Hey, boom, over here. Boom, boom, I've boom, got boom, something boom. for you. Oh. Don't say it like that. I just had the worst mental image, you fucking elf. And if that image scars me for life, I'm coming through and I I'm blaming you. I never take anything without giving in return. For your generosity well, you kind of stole it. those exquisite emeralds, I give you my If I didn't lay down that honey, you would have stole my emeralds and I would have never seen you, you again. Quest. So don't... Mm. I didn't hear what those were. Follow that passage over there. It's the way out of the dark forest. I should have been Thank paying attention very much for all than, your help. Uh, making fun I'm sure of the I'll elves. be able to find a use for these fine shoes. Um. Oh, okay. Well, maybe. Uh, so this fine shoes. So I guess I'll get the fine shoes to the uh, fine shoe makers, and maybe they can stop bitching. But what the heck will they give me in return? What do I get out of it? Hey, hey! Ooh, the log was good for something. Day. Oh, Cedric, I missed you! Oh. You were right not to want to venture in that oh, dark forest. and I've realized Cedric. who I thought I'd King never Graham get reminds me alive. of. I finally figured it out. I finally placed it. He looks just like uh, Patrick Swayze in his old uh, roadhouse days. Check it out. So we're going to be calling him uh, King Swayze from now on. Watch out for snakes. All right, so we'd have... We have now a shoe, and we will be taking the shoe to the shoe makers. Then the shoes are yours. I don't think I could find a better use for them. You're welcome, you ungrateful bitch! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>